Good morning, children. In today's class, we will be discussing important worksheet exercises. Make sure you will watch the video nicely and listen carefully so that you will be able to do your assignment correctly. Now, exercise 2. Write the following nouns in the correct column. There are three columns given as person, place and thing. And we have nine words in the bracket. There are teacher, pencil, eraser, school, library, doctor, desk, park, girl. So we are going to fill up in the three columns. Teacher is the name of a person. So we will write teacher in the column of person. Pencil is the name of a thing, so we will write pencil in the column of thing. Likewise, eraser, thing, school in the column of place, library also is the name of a place, so we will write library in the column of place. Doctor in the column of person, desk in the column of thing, park. In the column of place, girl is the name of a person. So we will write girl in the column of person. Exercise 3. Underline the common nouns. Common noun su engye kanti tsuanin. Ming big nailo kanti hoka. Alright. They are general names of the same kind of people, places, animals, and things. Alright. Now, a. A group of ministers were jealous of him. We are going to underline the common noun. Alright. What will be the common noun? Question A. Yes. Ministers. You will underline ministers. B. The Berber was promised a huge sum of money. What is the common noun here? Yes. Berber. C. The next time when he was with the emperor, the Berber began talking about the emperor's father. So, here we are going to underline emperor, Berber, and father. D. The Berber said that he knew a magician. Which one are we going to underline? Yes, Berber. And magician. And the last one, he agreed to go to heaven on the conditions that a large sum of money be given to him. Yes, money is a common noun. Now let's go on to the next exercise. Exercise 4. Identify the proper nouns in the given sentences. Proper noun. Kantitswan. Ming big ni. Right, they are particular names of people, places, animals, and things. Now we are going to identify the proper nouns in the given sentences. A. Akbar ruled over India in the 16th century. So, proper noun to inginita ang. Yes, Akbar and India. Remember that proper nouns always begin with a capital O, big letter. Now, B. The ministers wanted to get rid of Birbal. Yes, the answer is Birbal. Now, let's go on to the next question. Now, exercise 5. Do as directed. Fill in the blanks with the common or proper noun. Here in the bracket, it is written student-specific. Ito nang maan niya lao chanturan niya. Kaman noun de proper noun dang lam na in siya to a. So, nang maan niya i-intiam da nang kan in run chang do na ni. Alright, chantan tur kay bracket a. Alaw in siya kapi ka kaman noun, proper noun. Kaman noun de proper noun om zi in siya vek to a. So, I want you to answer this by yourself. Alright. Now, let's go on to the next question. Now, 
Exercise 6. Choose a collective noun for each group. There are five words given in the bracket, so you're going to fill up the blanks. Alright. Hihitsu, picture he. You don't need to write it in your notebook. Alright. Just write the question and the answer in your notebook. Now, A. A dash of cards. Yes. Pack. A pack of cards. B. A dash of sheep. Flock of sheep. C. Dash of stairs. Flight. A flight of stairs. D. A dash of cattle. A herd of cattle. And the last one. E. A team of players. I will upload the questions in your WhatsApp group and you will answer them by following the correct format of writing. Alright. And I will upload the PDF of this chapter. Read the lesson thoroughly. Achievement test will be conducted on Wednesday, that is, tomorrow. Thank you, children.